Hi guys, welcome back to Rara's Ventures. Welcome, we are visiting today the Wild and Downland Living Museum. So today we'll be walking around and showing you what they have here. It's an amazing place. I mean, we've only just turned up in the car park and we're both wow. So we're really looking forward to this little adventure. I've been really excited about it for weeks. So why not? Let's get on and go see. Hi guys, so we are now in the introduction gallery of the Wild Downland Living Museum, which tells you all about what's on the property here, what different houses they are, and all the history about it. We've got fantastic screens up front in, great lighting, and smooth surfaces for the floors. So we're going to move on to the next bit. of a, a metal evil hall. So this is what it would have looked like. It's so big, it's beautiful. So we are in our first metal evil house which was built in the late 15th century. Um, very dark and cold in here. Um, there's steps on one side, but on the other side there is a ramp to get in if you're in a wheelchair. Um, so you can get in the main room, as you can see. But the other rooms have larger steps, so you wouldn't be able to get a wheelchair in there. Which is also why they do a discounted price for people in wheelchairs. Um, but you still get to experience the smells and the age and the beauty of these buildings. So here we are in what was a market hall. It was built in around 1620, so it's extremely old. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful wood, the brickwork. Um, it's typical of many market halls built in the 16th and early 17th centuries. At street level, there is an open arcade where goods could be sold. The room on the first floor, which is above us, served as a town council chamber. So it was a multi-use building. Uh, and under the stairs leading to the chamber, there's a cage or a lock-up for offenders, which we will go and show you now. I think it's the other side, down here. So guys, this would have been where you went if you were naughty at the market or anywhere I assume so it's gated and bolted and you've just got a little amount of space that was under the stairs which is a makeshift jail cell it would have been used to lock up wrongdoers for short periods of time those accused of criminal activity would then be prosecuted so this is upstairs which is above the market hall and oh my goodness, it's amazing. Um, this is where they probably would have had their meetings. Look at this table, it's beautiful. Got nice old fashioned chest behind you. And look at them, this chair. Old fashioned chest. Right, so we are at Hambrook Barn, which is like a family hub. And here is a little caravan, it's so sweet. Um, also, they have so much for children to interact with here, which they can actually do. And um, they've got hopscotch, they've got bean bags, they've got where well, you've got to throw the rope onto the peg. Quotes, 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 we're not sure what that's called. Nope. Little Wally, how cool is that? Love this. Oh, it's all wooden as well. I think I've got to have a go. It's not too heavy. I probably won't get this. There's only two left, but you know, there's a line. Let's have a go. I did not get it. Any, any. But I bet you kids or parents can do better. Uh, there's a beanbag bucket, which is so cool. 
so you've got Faye bean bags in. Um, little horses. Ah! Love it. Uh, loads of stuff here. It's great fun for adults and children. Um, knots and crosses. How is that? That is brilliant. I love that. Over here, you have a little rocking chair. Horse rocker. Oh, it's beautiful. So as you go around, you could do a bit of fancy dress from back in the day, what they used to wear. It's so sweet. Lovely. Oh, some of these clothes. They're beautiful. Oh, you spend hours in there. And then a little spring there. I'm sure they do little plays in that here. And then also you've got a little caravan. I don't know if Hayley can manage steps with the camera, but we'll try. Carefully. So, how cool is this? Guys, this little caravan's absolutely beautiful. So you've got your little seating area. Hi guys, we're at the working wood yard, which is still being used today. So you're gonna follow me around and we're gonna show you this. I'll tell you what, it's so peaceful here. In here is the bed, it's lovely. So as you can see, we've got all the mechanics here and how they lift up trunks, the tree. You've got their working stations here, which was a cattle shed from Cold Wolfen, Sussex, 19th century. It's so amazing here. I love it here. Um, and behind us, you have where they keep all their wood. And as you can see, there's an old horse cart there. And they still use a horse and cart to uh, move the wood around here, which is amazing. Yeah, they um, do. And we'll, I think there's some horses. Yeah, we'll go see the horses in a minute. I'm really looking forward to it. They're shy horses, working horses. Because um, they're big enough to take the weight. It's so good here. So we've just come across this late 14th century hall. It was originally from Boar Hunt in Hampshire. Um, I'll just read you a little bit about it on the plaque. The hall from Boar Hunt dates from the late 14th century. A small, well-built example of a medieval, medieval open hall with a crook frame in the centre. The bay to the right of the entrance was probably a service room. The inner room beyond the hall is a conjectural reconstruction of the medieval solar i'm not sure if i'm reading that right but i'm trying <laughs> so we're going to go inside and have a little sneaky peek it's really beautiful i mean just the roofs it, it's amazing um how they managed to maintain all these properties i don't know but it's, it's incredible uh, it's a bit dark in here so i might take the camera a second to adjust massive door look at this door oh i can't close it <laughs> oh no i can look at this door huge absolutely massive i better put it back on its hook so come in guys now from outside this hall is actually really deceptive because if you look up i don't know if tara can show you up at the ceilings it's really high ceilings in here um very cold but amazing um it's just beautiful and there's two sides to the horse there's another little room through here now there is the odd steps here and there so obviously bear that in mind i also just hit my head on a door so <laughs> mind yourselves on the um lower doors and lower ceilings but this is a you know it's an amazing building and to be from the 14th century and still standing i think it's incredible it is so worth coming here to explore, especially if you like old things and you like seeing how life used to be before we modernised. It's incredible. There's uh, another room over the other side.
beautiful old furniture. Several of these houses have got old furniture in and they really are chunky chunks of wood. They're lovely. And this is the other room. There's nothing in this room. But it just goes to show you how deceptive the outside of this building was. Hey, one window, one not window. much light. No, not much light in this one. But just the construction of these is just amazing. I'd quite like to camp out on one of these for a night. Do you know what I mean? Just like, to experience. Just to experience what it would have been like, yeah. Maybe not this one, because this one wasn't a house. This one was a, like a town hall, I guess. But um, in one of the little houses, I'd love to do that. Okay, let's go see what else we can find. Come on, Tara. I'm coming. So this is Pendine Farmhouse. It is so sweet. It was built in Midhurst in Sussex about 1609. I'll read you a bit of the information. It's a timber frame house built in 1609. There's no open hall, but a brick chimney that heats two of the ground floor rooms and one of the upper chambers. The revolutionary change in house planning took place in the mid 17th century. But Pendine also has some medieval features such as unglazed windows and it is absolutely beautiful. So the windows have just got like wooden slats as you can see. It is so pretty and you can see the chimneys on the roof there. And this house also has its own little garden as well. It's like been reconstructed. I'll come and show you it. When you come and visit here, they really have thought about every aspect of your visit. So going to see the house and the garden that would have gone along with it. So here we've got boar coal, land crest, leaf beet, radishes, and they're all growing and they're all um, managed as a proper garden, which is fantastic. Not only to visit, but it's fantastic for the nature around here as well. Right, let's take you inside and go and see what this farmhouse is like. So, it's quite dark in here. I assume this would have been like the kitchen um, there's the fire in here, massive fire. We'll probably take some photos of this to get a good light to show you. Um, but this is what would have heated up these two rooms and one room upstairs. It's ever so cold. I mean, it must have been really cold back in the day. Um, but you can also, the fire is central to the house. So there's two rooms either side this fire. If you follow me through here, This is like the dining room area. And again, you've got the fire the other side, which must have been so cozy, but. And then we've got another little room through here. I guess this room was used for storage, very low ceilings. And I assume this would have been um, sink, Tara? Yeah, wash basin. Wash maybe basin or sink. Washing. Uh, yeah, washing. I don't know, if you guys know, let us know in the comments. It's so sweet, and they've got all these shelves up and all the old jugs. Really pretty. And I believe that we can go upstairs. So if you can go upstairs, these houses are really great because they actually, a lot of places close off the upstairs for health and safety, but here they're all open, they're brilliant. Wow. 
Oh, this is so cool. Come on, your heads. Oh, scary stairs. There is a, a wooden banister here, Clara. Okay, yeah. You can hold on to. Um, hold in. There we are, they've put that in. Safety a bit. Also. Oh, look at the little this door. It's amazing. So, this is the other part of the fire. So, this fire, uh, the chimney up here would only have heated this room. The other room wasn't heated. Look, there's a door up there. There's a little door up here, amazing. It's actually got, um, I can see hay and stuff in there, so I'm not sure what's kept in there. Right, oh, we're going to have to duck in a minute. <laughs> wow, just showing these huge baskets. Wow, fishing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, fishing, that one up top, anyway. Our window. Woo, it's letting that cold in. There's a bedroom through here. Is there? Yeah. Okay, we're coming. Look at this door. Look, you literally have to bend to get in. You have to keep bending. Sorry, guys. Wow. A bit wobbly on the old camera. Oh, it's like a little tunnel. Oh, this is so bed. cool. Look at that. Amazing. And there's actually another bedroom as well. No way. And a fireplace up here. Yeah. And a door. We'll have a look in the and little door in the oh. Right, going through, got to bend down again. So this would have been a child's room maybe. And we've got a baby crib here as an example. Oh, let me, hold on. Yeah. Amazing. That's so good. We'll get some photos so you see it clearer. Look at this dinky bed. So cute. Window, sorry. Doesn't look very comfortable, does it? What's in the door, Hayley? So this would have been the toilet. Oh, it's a toilet. Yeah, I don't think you can get, get the, the camera, camera in there. there. Right, guys, I'm taking you to the toilet. Oh, look! Very small. I'll never complain about our space of our bathroom ever again. No. That's awesome. It's amazing. Right. Well, this has been a tour of the farmhouse. Yes. And we'll go see what else we can find. Cool. See you in a bit. Bye. Hi. So we are at Winkhurst Tudor Kitchen. Wink. Get, get it. it. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, they sometimes do food um food tasters here so you could see what it was like um these uh they sometimes do bread beer and porridge um obviously it's not on today but what a cool experience and as you come in oh the smells that hit you are amazing you've got oh burning smells you've got wood smell oh it's lovely look at this can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah. So that would have been your um, yeah. Can't see in that, but um no. And then you've got all your woods where you would have had your fire and obviously your table for prepping your food, ready to eat, your beer maybe, put your pots and pans and everything over there. It just smells amazing. The different smells. Uh, yeah, really, you've got so many different smells. Um, it really is a living wood, museum, uh, isn't oh, it? it's gorgeous. I actually really like the smell. Yeah. Um, look at, here you've got, obviously we can't touch, but you've got all the different foods of what they would have had back in the day. All the hairs, spices, apples, pears, nuts. Oh, lovely. I'm lovely. All the drying out herbs, that's how... Well, it still is done these days, but this is how they did it when you did it yourself and didn't buy it from a shop. So many pots and stuff as well. Mm. Absolutely. I hope you're allowed around here. No, it's private. <laughs> Good this way. Yeah, you've got scales. Did you see the scales? Look! Oh, scales weighing. Oh, they're gorgeous. Just amazing here. It's really incredible. Yeah. Absolutely. I know we keep saying it, but it just, it really is. Oh, guys, I'm just going to take you to look up because this ceiling is oh. so high. 
Yeah. Really it's so hot. Water damage. Oh no, that'd be the damage from having the fires. Oh, the fires All the going. Smoke. All the yeah. smoke going up. Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Wow. Look at these frying pans. Well, that's what you call a frying pan, <laughs> is it not? Okay, and uh, sometimes I do... I think they do talks and stuff. Talks there, and okay. things in here, which is another brilliant thing. So much to do, see and interact with here. So we're going to carry on exploring. It's got an old well Look over at here. The well. There's lots of little birds flying around as well, which is yeah. lovely. Another, Another bench. Picnic There's bench. loads of benches around. There's plenty of places to sit and eat your lunch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're going to carry on exploring and see what we can find next. We have just come across this building and it looks a bit different. So we thought we'd find out what it's all about and why is it on mushrooms? None of the other houses that we've gone past, we've noticed them being on these little stools. They're so sweet. So I think it's a fairy house. Maybe. Let's go have a look. We're up. Falling over. <laughs> oh, they're dropping now. Let's go up and have a look. You coming in? Coming in. Oh, it's very dark. Okay. So, I'm, I'm still none the wiser. Uh, right, I'm going to try and give us some light so we can have a better view. Can you see, see? quite a bit, yeah. Can you? That's better, so look at this one there. Okay. Oh, right. So I wonder if this is where they kept the Your equipment. Like storage for the horses. Yeah. Oh, there's so cool. Yeah. Working. Yeah, I think they would have kept tools, farm tools and that sort of thing on here. Maybe wow. that's what this was for. Very old. Well, we just you can even see through the floors. Look, amazing. Yeah. There you we, go. We came across them. We thought we needed to share this. Let's climb down safely. Oh, I'm still voting it's a fairy house. I'm going to pretend. Would you like it to be a fairy yes. house, Hayley? Let's go and see what else we've got for Oh, there is a thing. Let's go and have oh, a look. Oh, look, she's found a sign. That's what I was looking for in the first place, guys. Oh, it nearly went. Don't do that. <laughs> and Sarah, my eyes deceiving me, or is that a pig over there? Oh, there is a pig oh, running. There is a pig running, they're, right. They're both running. We've Let us tell you about this. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, it's a granary. It's from Little Hampton. Oh, that's where I'm from. Okay, so it's from the 1731. 1731, the timber frame is mainly of elm infilled with brick. The building is raised right. on 16 stone staddles to protect the grain from damp and vermin. It's usually unusually large example with a usable loft. Amazing, what a that, special little that house. That answers our question of the day. Right, now as you could hear, we've just spotted some pigs, so I we're going to go and find them and see if we can bring you a bit closer. We'll see you in a minute. We've got good photos, I hope. So we just found these two gorgeous little piggies. Hello. Hi. I've got an electric fence for your safety and to stop infection. So they are so gorgeous. They're lovely. Very happy little piggies. Oh. oh. Craig's mum would love this. Yeah, so would Tom. Amazing, my husband would go mad for these pigs, they're gorgeous. They're little noisies. They're very vocal. They are. Okay, we'll leave the piggies alone. Bye bye piggies. Bye piggies, it was lovely to see you. You're beautiful and we love you. Bye bye. Bye. So we're just about to take you inside this church here. It's from South Wonston in Hampshire and it was built in 1908. The tin knuckle, I can't read that word. Basically it's the Iron Church. And it was built in 1908 to serve as a place of worship for the residents of the new village of South Wonston. The building is rectangular in shape, approximately 30 feet long, 15 feet wide, with a tiny porch and vestry, a short extension to the roof at the east end, and supported by shaped brackets, forms a cow's bell, a cow for a bell, sorry, with a pulley in the vestry for ringing. I can get my words out then, let's go and have a look inside. It's so sweet. There's also a ramp up into this one, which is fantastic access. And 
and as you come in, it's just not what you expect from a tin outside, is it? Here we are. A beautiful, small, but perfectly formed little church. It's beautiful. Very, very sweet. And you don't expect all the wood, because outside everything's metal, so it's kind of a bit of a shock when you come inside. It is, isn't it? It is, and you can see the bell. I don't know if Tara will be able to show you, but you can see the bell through the window at the top there. Which is yeah, really sweet. Oh. It's just so amazing to see. Lovely. So this here is a plumber's workshop. It's a late 19th century building, had a plumber's workshop on the ground floor and a glacier's workshop on the top floor, or first floor. I don't know if Tyron can show you up there. So there's actually another floor to this building. And this is about 19th century. Now there's not a lot of room in there, so I'm gonna let Tyra go in with the camera and just give you a little show around. Don't be scared of the fake man stood there because he made me jump earlier. So you can see they've got all their tools hanging up along the walls. Massive wooden workbench. He's got the old kettle there. Scary um, man that isn't real. Scary man that isn't real. But I mean, working in here, it must have been a hard day's work. And they actually show you here on the board all the different types of plumber's tools that were used back then. And probably some of them still today. What a lovely. Oh. Amazing. It's just literally coming here is literally like stepping back in time. It's, I, I love it. It's amazing. Steps here, by the way, just let you all know. Mine steps. steps. Oops. There we are. Cool, man. I love these old. Um, Caravan things. What are these called? Uh, wagons, I guess. That's quite a big wagon. Yeah. But the workers used to sleep in there or, or go in there for their lunch. Nice little pond over here for a little windmill. We'll go and see that in a minute. So we are virtually back to where we started. We are. We have had a fabulous day. We've we been have. here all day. Four hours. So yeah. it's it's really worth it as an actual day out. You can really spend the day here. There's so much to see, so much to interact with. It's pretty much accessible. Obviously there's the stairs inside the houses, but the pathways are pretty good. The inside centres are really good. And we just want to say a massive thank you to the Wheel and Downland Living Museum us yes definitely thank <laughs> you so so much guys we'll see you soon bye, bye. we don't actually have any food bye we uh, said we'd show you the pond well the ducks thought they'd come and see us i think they think we've got food but we haven't have we Haley? <laughs> we haven't got any food it's a really noisy helicopter We're just by the uh, water mill. Pretty cool. Bye, crackers. How you diddling? Hello. Oh, so happy. Happy ducks. Hey. 